Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with Selections for Thursday the 22nd of September. Well, a quick recap on Wednesday's performance or today's performance. Um, due to the staking plan, um, it was a slight losing day, but it depends when you put the bet on and whether you took SP or the price. Well, with my bets, I think I lost a pound in the end, but it was very unfortunate. Um, not only did we have an 11 to 1 winner, we had a 40 to 1 fourth as well. But unfortunately, I thought I was actually getting a decent price last night, as in as, <laughs> Tuesday night, because um, I got 18 to 1 on that Athol Blair boy. Well, I thought 18 to 1 were a decent price. It actually drifted to 40s and it actually ran a cracker. It could have actually won the race in the end. And. As I mentioned in the in yesterday's video, I actually mentioned you could have had forecast double, er, not forecast doubles, reverse or combination forecast. Well, you would have been sweating because you could have had, well, you did have 11 to 1 winner and a 40 to 1 fourth, a fast closing. So that would have been knee trembling, let's put it that way. So enough wob wobbling, by the way. God. Enough waffling, by the way. So let's get into it. So what I've had. For Thursday, I only fancy four at uh, three horses, so I've actually gone for a 50 pence each way Trixie, totaling four pound. Decide for yourself what you will be doing on um, Thursday, but that's what I'll be sticking with. I'm going to keep low stakes. Yeah, well, don't get wrong, it's a, it's, a, it's only a pound less than normal, but yeah, it's a, it's a 50 pence each way Trixie. So the first selection. Is Arnold at 11 to 2 in the 143 at Pontefract, paying four places instead of three. This, unfortunately, will probably get a little bit behind, but I do believe it's got enough to come from a long way back. And with Oshin McSweeney booked, I think he's one of the, one of the best jockeys in the race. The second selection is Al Kawanij Spurt. I, I always thought that was called Spirit. Actually, Al Kawanij Spurt at 12 to 1. Paying the first three places only in the 18 minutes past two race at Pontefract. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm just a little bit tired. I'm all over the place. This horse could potentially drift. I'm not sure, to be honest. But I, I just think it's quite such a big price because of the trainer. Although I do rate the trainer quite highly, Alice Haynes. It did actually run a very decent race on debut. This was over seven and a half furlong. But it showed plenty of speed. Well, as Pontefract is a speed favouring track, I do believe it should still have the pace to be prominent and hold on for at least third place. Well, it, it needs to be at least third place, but um, well, it can't be any less than that. I do I do believe if it could get an easy lead, which I'm not expecting to lead, but I'm expecting to be up there. But if it gets an easy lead, it could be very hard to beat because I'm expecting it to progress from its debut. So, um, yeah, definitely an interesting um, selection. And finally, one of the most frustrating horses in training. Golden Apollo at 10 to 1 in the 10 past 5 race at Pontefract, paying four places instead of three. I actually, um, I can't remember if I tipped this horse. Um, no, I didn't tip this horse, but it was one of um, several that I looked in the race when Gatham Fall won at Pontefract. Golden Apollo came from miles behind. Well, I do believe it'll do the same again. But really, there's not many more chances for it this season. There might be a, like a, a race at York, but I do I do believe it's still got... Well, I do believe it'll still try and keep picking up the place money, even if it does go for a sprint towards the very back end, which we're pretty much at now, at the flat season. Probably at something like York anyway. So they're the three selections. I really like the place chances especially. So I've gone for 40 pence. Each way tricks it. So if you fancy horses for tomorrow, let me know in the comments. If you can give me a like or a subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. Be sure to watch out for tomorrow's video for Friday because I'll, I'll, I'll be giving you an update on the channel on what I'm going to do different. So the very, and, and for, for the comedians out there, that's, yeah, that's not going to pick winners. Yeah. So the very best of luck. Charlie Winters, over and out. Cheers, mate.